Hello, and welcome to another Fraser tutorial. In this tutorial, we will review the print form screen, printing forms, and some of the basic printing options available to you. Now that you've completed your sale, it's time to print your paperwork. To begin, click on the Print Forms button at the top of Fraser. At the top of the print form screen, you'll see the last customer you were working with. Or you may click Select Customer to select a different customer to print for. This will allow you to choose from your list of currently completed sales, or you may choose a customer from your prospect file. You also have the option to print for a vehicle only, which will leave the customer information fields on the form blank while printing information for the vehicle you have selected on the form. Below the customer information, you will see a list of the forms available to print from your Fraser system. When you receive the Fraser software, it comes preloaded with a default list of forms for your state. To the left of the form name, you will see the Fraser form number. To the right of that, the WP column will indicate whether or not that form is a white paper form. When a white paper form prints, the entire form prints out on plain paper. A Y in that column indicates a text form, and a P indicates a PDF document. Text forms will print out on any printer. However, a PDF form requires a laser or inkjet printer. If the WP column is blank, this indicates that the form is pre-printed and must be printed using a dot matrix printer, such as the Okidata 320 Turbo. Once these forms are preloaded into the printer, Fraser's programming will fill in the blank spots on the form with the appropriate data. Pre-printed forms cannot be formatted to print through a laser printer, and they may not have a white paper equivalent available. Please note, form number 54, Buyer's Guide, has a blank next to it. However, this is a form that can be printed either as a pre-printed form or in white paper. When you print the buyer's guide, it gives you the option at the top of the screen to select which version you would like to print. Before printing any form, it is important to make sure that the code and version date in Fraser match the version of the form that you need to print. If this information does not match the form you're printing, we may need to send you a revised version. The printed column will provide you with a date that the form was last printed for this specific customer. And finally, the order column lists the relative order in which your forms appear in your print forms list. At the bottom of the screen, you have the option to print just one form by highlighting that form and clicking on the print button, or you may consecutively print all of the white paper forms enabled on your list. Any forms highlighted in yellow in the WP column are defaulted to print when Print All White Paper Forms is selected. The Form Setup button on the bottom left of your print form screen allows you to see a list of all of your forms, including those that have been set to inactive and no longer appear in your main forms list. Double-clicking on a form in this list allows you to set the individual settings for that form, which we will review in detail in our Print Forms Advanced Options tutorial. If you have a PDF form selected, you will find a Print Blank PDF button at the bottom of your screen. You may use this button to print out a blank version of the highlighted form. Below that is the Print Preview button. If an eligible PDF form is selected, you may use the Print Preview to see how the form will print and review the form and customer information for accuracy. The Printer Setup button allows you to review your printer selection settings in Fraser, so you may verify which installed printer you are using for each type of form. The Legal Stuff link provides access to pertinent legal information that may be relevant to your state and forms. Fraser also offers subscriptions to popular white paper contracts, such as banker systems and law contracts. Information about these subscriptions is provided under More White Paper Forms. And 
if there are any e-services available in your area, such as online registration, titling, or temp tags, the buttons linking you to those services appear at the bottom of your screen as well. More information about individual form settings, cleaning up your forms list, form packs, and form requests may be found in our Print Forms Advanced Options tutorial. As always, thank you for choosing Fraser 